Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss another example which will be about multi-stage conveyor. There will be three motors that will be controlled over the timer. So let's look at the example first. Multi-stage conveyor. When a start button is on, then the first stage motor runs for 10 seconds, then stops. After a 5 second delay, the second stage motor runs for 20 seconds and then the third stage motor will run for 15 seconds. So in this example, we will use a normally open contact for a start button and we will be using some timers to uh, to make the motor one on for 10 seconds and then for motor two to turn on after 15 seconds and for 20 seconds and then for motor three after 35 seconds and for 35 seconds motor three should be on. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So this is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we need to add our inputs and outputs here in the PLC tags table here. PLC tags table default tag table. I will double click on it. And then here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have only one input that is a start button. And then we have three outputs, motor one, motor two and motor three. So I will write motor one and its address will start with Q. So the address will be Q 0.0. .0. And then we have motor two, motor two, that is the second stage motor and then we have motor 3 the third stage motor after that i will go to program blocks and then main ob1 i will double click on it so here we will be drawing the ladder diagram for this example i will zoom into it and then Firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for a start button and then i will insert a coil for motor 1 for the first stage motor and then I will open the branch add uh, another coil for motor 3 and then I will open the branch and then add one more coil that will be for 3 motors and this will be for start button I will write start button and then this coil will be for motor 1 and the second one will be for motor 2 and then the third one will be for motor 3. So motor 1, so this motor 1 should remain on for 10 seconds only. For that, motor 1 should run for 10 seconds. So for that, I will go to timer operations and then double click on TP and then click on OK. So the preset value will be 10 seconds. So motor one will turn on for 10 seconds and then it will get off and this motor two should get on after motor one. So there will be a delay of 10 seconds. So I will insert T on on delay timer and the preset value will be 10 second. 10 second. And this motor two should remain on only for 20 seconds so i will insert a tp here for motor 2 and the preset value will be 20 second and after that this motor 3 should get on when the motor 2 gets off that is there will be a delay of 35 seconds so i will insert a t on here on delay timer here and the preset value for this on delay timer will be 35 seconds and then this motor 3 should remain on only for 15 seconds. So for that, I will insert a pulse timer TP here and the preset value will be 15 seconds. It should remain on for 15 seconds. So for now, when start button gets on, motor 1 gets on immediately and it will remain on for 10 seconds. After that, when motor 1 gets off after 10 seconds, the current will flow through it and then motor 2 gets on and it will remain on for 20 seconds. And then when motor 2 gets off, 
that is after 35 seconds in those 35 seconds motor 1 was on motor 2 was on and all uh, these two motors get cut off and after that the current flows through it and this motor 3 gets on and it remains on for 15 seconds so i will start simulation here click on ok Click on load and then finish. After that, we need to start the CPU. And then I will start monitoring. And then I will switch to project view. There we need to create a new project. Let's create a new project here. And let's wait for some time. And then I will go to simulation tables and then simulation table one and there I will right click here and then click on load project tax. So here we have our input that is start button. When I turn it on, this motor one gets on and it will remain on for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, The motor 1 gets off and after that motor 2 gets on and it will remain on for 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, this motor 2 gets off and the current will flow through it. As a result, this motor will get on. Motor 3 gets on after 18, 19, 20 seconds. This gets off and this gets on. So motor 3 gets on and it will remain on for 15 seconds. And after 15 seconds, motor 3 gets on. Here, there should be a delay of 30 seconds. So you can write it here, 30 seconds, and you will see that motor 2 gets off and immediately motor 3 gets on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.